Engineers Without Borders is a club here on campus. Um, we do service work uh, in developing countries and we basically solve engineering problems and provide solutions to those problems um, in these areas that need help. So for example, um, last year we worked on cook stoves for um, families in the Dominican who didn't have proper cooking methods and were getting really sick from their current cooking methods. We reached out to Framework again and said that we would love to do a project. We know that didn't really work to go um, to the Dominican Republic again, but were there any sites that needed anything? And they mentioned Ecuador, which is their brand new site. And we kind of went through with what our skill sets were and what the top needs of the community were. So um, that's how we came to this project. So it's um, doing a water filtration in schools so that all the students aren't getting sick. And then hopefully that can expand to other parts of the community too. So in January we went down there and it was an assessment trip. So we went to all four schools, we took measurements, looked at the um, potential areas of where we could put them and kind of figure out a general idea. Um, we also tested the water there and then we also were able to see how they filter the water. We went to their water treatment plant and it turned out that they filter the water great which we were actually surprised about. Um, it's the same, like it's just as good as they would be here in the United States. But um, throughout the journey from the water treatment plant to the town. Um, throughout the years, people have tapped into the water system, which allows contaminants, different fecal matter, stuff like that, to get into the water. So the initial plan, um, after the first assessment trip, we had looked at four schools. And we decided to plan and design for the largest school. That way, we could impact the most number, the maximum number of students as possible. Uh, so we designed a UV water dispenser um, a filtration system, which is our water bubbler. Um, for that school and unfortunately two days before we left for the trip we got an email from the field's operations manager saying that the director and the people at the school no longer wanted us to implement that system there because they wanted to extend their office area in the location where we would build. Um, so that kind of left the project up in the air at that point and we had to act at that moment and figure out can we use the design that we had spent the semester working on so we chose um, another school uh, which was uh, called Luisa Martin and we implemented our system there instead. For the community we're helping in a lot of ways definitely just bring clean water but also education and hopefully this is something that will be continued past the schools and local other locals can see like different options to filter their water. Luckily being able to go out in the fields I've learned a lot more about um, you know, working in, with different people and maybe sort of the barriers you might experience in the workplace and the troubles that you might find, um, just like solving challenging problems in the real world. But I think that there's a difference between pen and paperwork that you do and physical experience and getting out into the field and basically just in doing what you're learning. Um, so being able to go on these trips, it not only benefits the students because they get more, more hands-on experience in the field and like, like with our trip, spur of the moment, things change and in the real world things are going to change and it's going to get difficult.